Page 76 is the last page for Unit 7. Uh, on page 76, there is a listening exercise, and it says, Look at the list of leisure activities below and brainstorm a list of words associated with each one. Well, actually, I decided to focus on specific words of vocabulary related to these activities. So, that's what I'm going to do right now. Well, first of all, the book is talking about the first activity, which is playing ping pong or table tennis. And they included three words, which are tables with nets. Nets aren't like these uh, objects that are in between of um, a ping pong table. Also, they're mentioning the paddles, which are the, or the objects using for hitting the balls. So those are the balls of ping pong. The second activity is swimming. Um, I would like to focus on these three words. The lanes, which are the sections of a pool for people used to swim uh, on a straight line. Also the tiles. The tiles are these uh, small sections of a pool uh, that are for decoration and also for protection. And also the word stroke. Stroke refers to uh, each arm movement for swimming. The following activity is playing the piano. Uh, I would like to focus on these three words, which are keys. Well, the first keys, it refers to the different music keys, such as Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, La, Si, Do, or the keys of a piano, okay? Like those sections that we hit with our fingers for producing sound. Also, they're called keys. And the scores, which are... Uh, music on uh, paper. So those are music scores. The following activity is reading and I would like to focus on these two words. A bookmark which is uh, the object for separating pages on a book. Uh, stanza which is section of a poem. Okay and also handwriting which is a specific style sorry the specific style that each person has when writing. Uh, the following activity is watching baseball. Uh, there are three words for this activity, which are mitt, which is a baseball glove, home, which is the main base when playing baseball, and the pitcher, who is the person who throws a ball for the hitter or the batter to hit the ball. The following activity is going to art exhibitions. Um, the first word that I would like to talk about is painting, okay, which is the production of a painter. And for a painter to paint a painting, <laughs> he or she needs uh, uh, some paint, which is the material for painting paintings. <laughs> the following um, word is sculpture, okay. So there we have a Costa Rican scul scul sculpture, all right. Uh, and the following activity is cooking. These are the three words that I would like to focus on. The first one is a spork, which is a combination between a spoon and a fork, a spatula and a salt shaker. And the last activity that's playing cards. Um, a group of cards uh, together, they're called a deck of cards. When you're playing, you before or before playing, you may shuffle the cards. And once you have shuffled the cards, you hand them out. You hand out the cards. All right. So let's continue now with uh, the listening exercise on page seventy-six. It says. Listen to five short conversations from one to five and identify the leisure activity that is being discussed in each conversation. I don't want to focus on that part of the instructions. I want to go straight to the short conversations. Okay, people? So, there are different activities, only five conversations. That means, that's, that, means that some of them are left apart. All right, so listen to the five conversations. Look at the screen because I will show you some help. Do your best. Listening three, B. 
Listen to the conversations and identify the activities that are being discussed. 1. I know a great place to play. The Municipal Recreation Department has set up nice tables with nets in the park. Well, what about paddles and balls? We can rent paddles at the kiosk. We'll have to buy a few balls, though. 2. That was an amazing show. Over 100 works in such a small gallery. I found it very crowded. The paintings were hung so close together and the sculptures were packed into the corners. We should come back when there are less people. Until then, you can read through the catalog that I bought on my way out. 3. How about that game last night? It sure was close in the last inning. You can say that again. If it weren't for Yuchiro's home run with bases loaded, we would have lost the game. What a hitter. Not only is he a solid fielder, he can really swing the bat. 4. Hey there, how have you been? Last time we met, you had just signed up for an Italian cuisine class. Great to see you. Yeah, I've been taking my lifelong hobby very seriously and just finished another six-month dessert and pastry course. It was fabulous. Wow. With all that experience, you'll have your own restaurant in no time. Five. What a fine rendition. That was terrific. So how long have you been playing? I started taking lessons when I turned five. So, counting the conservatory, that makes about 20 years that I've had my fingers on the keys. Do you mostly play classical or sometimes improvise jazz? Well, take the quiz, do your best, and see you.